Let's enjoy learning science of standard 8. Chapter 1 Crop Production and Management You have learnt that all living organisms require food. Plants can make their food themselves but animals including us that is humans cannot make their own food. So, first we'll see why we require food or why we have to eat the food. You know that the energy from food is utilized by organisms for carrying out their various body functions such as digestion, respiration and excretion. In order to provide food for a large population, regular production, proper management and distribution of food is necessary. So first we'll see the agricultural practices. When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called a crop. For example, crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in the field are that of wheat. There are two types of cropping patterns. The first one, kharif crops. The crops which are sown in the rainy season are kharif crops. For example, paddy, maize, soya bean, groundnut, cotton, etc. The rainy season in India is from June to September. Now another pattern is rabbi crops. The crops grown in the winter season are rabbi and the time period is generally from October to March. The examples are wheat, gram, pea, mustard. Besides these, pulses and vegetables are grown during summer at many places. Now we'll see the basic practices of crop production. Cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by farmers over a period of time. These are called as agricultural practices. The first one is preparation of soil. To turn the soil and loosen it is very important and it allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil. The loose soil allows the roots to breathe easily even when they grow deep into the soil. The loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in the soil. Soil contains minerals, water, air and some living organisms and in addition dead plants and animals get decomposed by soil organisms.